Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of uh, you know myths or different forms of definition that we'll today find when we talk about what exactly, uh, who exactly is an estate, right? So let's uh, let's take two minutes and go back in time and understand uh, how this estate role came into picture. So the term estate was initially coined in early 2000 by uh, Microsoft and then subsequently picked up by other uh, companies. So this was the time when also Agile uh, Manifesto was being you know, uh, framed and introduced. Uh, so the industry was going through a transition in terms of endeavors to improve the release velocity and also to basically be able to deliver to the client or the user you know, in a much, much more agile way. Right. And testing was a phase, if you see, where, uh, you know, is that part of the funnel where things become really slow? Yeah. So any improvement here would have really improved the overall, uh, you know, tech speed. So yeah. I believe as that role was uh, introduced in order to bridge the gap between QA and dev role. Okay. Right. Now, this bridge would have constituted, of course, automation coding, reading, and writing skills, uh, shift left, shift right, understanding the test pyramid, unit integration, contract testing, and many other skills and uh, you know deliverables that yeah. would have ultimately helped in improving the release overall <clears throat> release velocity and you know uh, feedback times and so on. So, and over the years, uh, this role has really evolved a lot and has been used in many forms across the industry. And finally, yeah. I am able to see some consensus among the companies okay. over the RNR of this role, right? Okay. So a very apt definition of who is an SDET, which I read around months, few months ago, says that an SDET is an engineer who can play almost every agile role with a focus on quality and user okay. experience, that's right? And okay. that's, the, that's, that's like the closest definition that I personally align myself with. Uh, 